welcome to another video. Today, we are thrifting in Brooklyn. I can't believe I have never done this before, although I do have a complicated history with bed bugs in New York City, and so any kind of used goods have triggered traumas for years. But today is the day, I'm ripping off the Band-Aid. I'm gonna do it, taking off the training wheels, and we are going to go to some amazing vintage and thrift stores here in Williamsburg, Greenpoint, and around kind of that area. Uh, in order to get started, I went on Google. I just typed in best thrift stores in Brooklyn, and I now have a very, very long list of options, some of which you might already be familiar with. So we're probably not gonna hit all of them today, but we're just gonna take the day as it goes. I did Google some tips on, on how to thrift, and one tip was to wear a comfortable outfit and shoes. So check, I did that uh, in order to be able to kind of like change in and out of stuff and make sure that if I wanted to try on a top, I have some jeans on that might go with that, et cetera, et cetera. Also, the other tip is to go in with a list of things that you want. So I do have that as well. I'll put that up here, but it does include vintage denim, fun sunglasses, flirty tops and dresses, you know, things for summer. With that being said, we're gonna dive in. But before we fully get started, I do need caffeine really badly because it is 10 a.m. in the morning and I have not had coffee. So I am starting the day at Rhythm Zero, which is a relatively new cafe here in Greenpoint. And I thought it would set the tone because it has generally the right aesthetic for today. So let's grab some coffee, probably some breakfast on the way, and then get in loser because we're on shopping. breakfast because I am quite hungry. All that caffeine needs to be offset by some carbs. Also, we need fuel. So I'm walking through Transmitter Park, which on a very nice day gives you a very nice view. Today it's a little bit, it's a little bit nippy. So um, spring is definitely still touring with us over here in New York. Um, but I did want to check out the views. So uh, it's always kind of nice to see Manhattan skyline and all of that. And next up is Sanika. I might be butchering that name, but there is a new breakfast restaurant that has opened up that looks really beautiful on the inside and the menu sounds delicious. And I realized none of the stores actually open until 12 around here. So we got about an hour to kill. And what better way to do that than by eating? <laughs> actually get into it. I'm headed to the first set of stores here in Greenpoint and let's see what we find. <laughs>
got done with the three that are on the corner of Norman and Dobbin Street in Greenpoint. I will say they are quite expensive for thrifting. They are probably on the same price point as New Glows. So they were vintage Levi's for like 200 something dollars and dresses for over a hundred. And you know, it's on the upper price range, I would say for used clothing, but that's just one woman's opinion. Um, I'm sure collectors will disagree, but for me, I am looking to, you know, for some deals. <laughs> Um, but they did have a cool selection and I enjoyed browsing and kind of seeing all of the different sunglasses and the way they decorated everything that was probably like my main highlight was the stores are all three beautiful and then I walked into a record shop where you can also buy and sell so it's both new and used and loved the interiors. I don't actually have a record player but you know I'm toying with the idea and if you do you should definitely go check them out. They were very cool. Next up is Beacon's Closet. It's actually just down the street from the record shop. And I would say that this is probably going to be a little bit more affordable. That is what I expect walking in here. It's also huge. You can see like it just keeps going. And I'm pretty sure you can actually bring in and sell your clothes in here too if you want to consign. So let's do it. <laughs> shopping then might I suggest the donut break. There is a very well-known donut shop here in Game Park called Peter Pan. Warning it is cash only but very affordable and they're just your quintessential donut dough. Light fluffy fried good flavor. I wouldn't call it out of this world but it's a really solid option. Um, so if your blood sugar levels are dropping dangerously low take a break. bunch of cool chairs so definitely that was mostly like a vintage furniture shop I loved one of the bowls in there but he set the starting price at 95 and that's a little high it's it's really high actually so um, I passed on that but I'm kind of sad because I thought it was so cute uh, but yeah uh, one thing that is a recurring theme is Brooklyn Vintage goods are expensive. That's just something to be aware of.
is the end of our thrifting journey and our thrifting day. I, as you can see, have put my hat on because it's cold, okay? Spring, what is happening? I'm, <laughs> but that's okay. At least we spent most of the day inside and it was really fun looking through all of the different stores. I didn't really find much, but it was just a beautiful experience with all the different decor. And um, yes, call me out on it. I did end up deviating from the purely thrifting prompt because I ended up going into some home goods stores that were just normal boutiques, but all of the vintage goods made me want to look at more home goods. So just kind of went with the flow, you know? So we did Greenpoint, we did some of Williamsburg. There are obviously so many more thrift shops, uh, especially in Bushwick, there's a really nice set outposting of them and then obviously when the demo fleet comes back there are more options there as well but I feel like it was a good amount to get my feet wet and uh, who knows maybe in the future I'll be able to hit up some of those if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and come back for more I post weekly on Sundays and thank you so much for watching bye